used the M word for the last week and a half, talking about we need more mentors. We've got 13, 14, 15-year-old uh, young men who are dropping out. At first, I thought he was talking about school. Then my audience schooled me. They said, no, dropping out of society, dropping out of life. Do you agree with that part of the mayor's thing? And is mentoring something that would work looking at it from your perspective? Younger than you, younger than me. Mentoring can work, but not mentoring alone. If, if I'm at school and I meet with a mentor one hour out of my week, I, I'm exposed to a lot more in that week than what that one mentor can, uh, can contribute to. Um, so for me, I believe that you know it, it takes it takes a strong foundation, uh, not necessarily only from a mentor, but the parents have to be actively involved challenging their children. Uh, aside from that, you know, school teachers, those who are, you know, and those parents have to challenge the school teachers. Uh, you know, school, school teachers have to challenge their kids. So the kids have some sort of responsibility or accountability uh, to what they do. I mean, if you just go to school and not really pay attention, your parents not asking you how your day went, perception of what a mentor can where, where their mentor can come from, we gotta twist it. Most people don't know who their neighbor is. Like they don't say good morning, goodbye, how was your day? So I think sometimes we shoot so high for mentors that we forget that your football coach can be your mentor. Your neighbor, if you find out what your neighbor actually does, can be your mentor. I think we look so much towards, oh, he works at the radio station, or he has a youth program, or you know, he works for the news station, or he's a professor, and all those are good, good uh, occupations. It doesn't mean you'll be a good mentor. Sometimes a lot of those people who have these grand occupations don't have the time, and then you wind up with the hour a day. So I think, you know, mentor definitely can play a role, but we have to look at it from a broader perspective and understand that your uncle, who may just be a city worker for the trans company, can have a wealth of knowledge and influence on the worst kid that's out there. We talk about... Things, you can't be shy. You can't go back. Come on. I was just going to say that it starts in the household. Whatever you pressure your kid to do is what they're going to do. If you want your kid to be a ballerina, if you want your kid to play soccer, that's what they're going to do. If they see you doing something, they want to do it. So it starts with us. If you're a parent and you're an active in the community, my daughter is going to do, do exactly what I'm doing. But we demonize parents so much. Maybe that's my generation demonizing parents so much. And the largest group of parents in this city are women 18 to 24, 18 to about 29. It's not the babies having babies. That, that, that's, that's urban legend. The actual fact is 18 to 24. How then do we make sure that those moms and the baby dads have that knowledge to be a parent? Should, should parent step test, would that be part of I step? You can't get a high school diploma if you can't pass the parent section of I step? I think that's a great idea. Um, I do. I think there are a lot of people that are parents that I don't want to get in there and demonize parents like you said. But I also, I mean, I had a point, so I'm not going to be shy. I'm kind of heard what was said. I think the, the problem sometimes is that we look at it as a one problem issue. So it's like, oh, the parents have to do this. But you can come from a two-parent home, have a wonderful life, and still see something that curves your mind, go get a gun or go out and shoot somebody. We see it every day on the news. So I don't I don't necessarily I don't wanna I guess I feel like we get stuck on blaming one thing for a problem that is being affected by 20 million. So as part of it we have amnesia when we have a school shoot. Most of those school shooters came from middle class, comfortable, two-parent homes, and they don't get upset saying, those thugs. But when it comes in our community, and it just happens to be a single parent, or maybe both parents are not together, but they're engaged in the life of the child. Oh, that's those, those unfamily, ruthless people. Yeah, I think that's a, a very huge issue. So, I mean, I think parents... Do this. No, like Alex was saying, the parents have to do this. But then those children spend eight hours in a 
in school. Like, they don't even, sometimes you spend more time at school than you do at home. So it's like, what's going on in the school? A lot of parents have to work one job, two jobs. What, what are you being fed on the television? You know, like, what are you being fed on the radio? And all of those things add to the problem. And I don't think enough or a lot of people are saying, I'm a part of this problem. How can I fix it? Like Obama said, be the change that you wish to see. So if each and every single one of us, whether we're parents or not, looked at ourselves and said, well, what, I want to be an example and I'm going to live like this, the world would be a lot better.